infrastructure in New York State and promoting a just transition to renewable energy. Not so close. Yeah. And one of the ways that we like to teach people about what's going on is by using art. So what we made here is a contestoria called Win Wind New York. And it's a giant storybook. Kanto story that dates back to like fourth century India, where people will tell stories through music and rhyme. So can you all can you all see this? If not, try to make make way for your for your friends to see. And when we flip each page, Monica here is gonna teach you a song that we're all gonna sing together. And when Ian and Brigitte hear you start to sing the song, then they're gonna flip the page. Hello everyone. So you all know that song down by the riverside? Yes. So we're going to change the words to that a little bit and just do a part of it that we're going to repeat because that's the part of the Kanta story. That's the Kanta, the singing part of it, right? So every time we flip the page, we're going to sing this little bit. So it goes, we want justice for offshore wind down by the riverside. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, we want justice for offshore wind, down by the riverside. Just do that much. Sound good? You got it? You sound great. Okay, here we go. Not so close. Not so close. I'm trying to... Do you like my finish? Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. That is much better. Okay. <laughs> this is the story of New York's offshore wind farm and a renewable solution to fossil fuel harm. We have worked for years to get where we are, and we look back and we say, we've come so far. So we'll give you a brief history, get you up to speed, and take out the mystery. Justice for offshore wind down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. We want justice for offshore wind down by the riverside. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Okay, we traveled back to 2009 and we were fighting a fracked gas pipeline. We studied, we learned, we shared our knowledge to build the movement to stop the pillage of the drilling the gas and ruining water, then piping and pushing and compressing and shipping, leaving a devastated land for our sons and our daughters. And what the hay did they want to do with this gas anyway? They wanted to liquefy the gas into LNG and sell it to the highest international bidder, raising the prices for you and me. And where did they want to build this LNG port to load the ships and the gas to export? In the same place that a clean new wind farm would be. So which form of energy would you rather see? Expensive poison gas or wind energy?
dries out. We know climate's changing and we're filled with survival doubt. But here is how we will survive. Great change must come to our lives. We must rethink our consumption and rethink our communal function. How we are living is deflecting our true power to serve the planet, the life-bearing flower. That is floating through space, it is our time to slow down our pace. To feel and listen and hear nature's instructions, the sun and the wind and the thermals within are perfection of functions. We want justice for offshore wind, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. We want justice for offshore wind, down by the riverside. Oil, who is our developer, listens and feels what to what we hold dear. Protect our marine family. Don't raise our rates. Shut down these dirty gas plants where childhood asthma is fate. We want our neighbors to have safe union careers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.